Yo, yo, YouTube land. Sean here with 618 Bushcraft. And today I am taking up Rod from Beat Around the Bushcraft K Woods Challenge for Show Us Your Noodle. I've got another plan for this, but I have to wait till the weather cooperates. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get one done now. Uh, to start the fire, I figured I've got them to use. I'm going to waste these behemoths, so I just get rid of them. I just bought them for the little demo that I did. And I'm going to prove that anybody, <laughs> and I mean anybody, can start a fire with these things. No, this thing burns for 11 minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and start getting some bigger pieces on right away. Okay guys, I've got water going, I've got some butter and garlic going, and I am about to get the rest ready. Finally get to use my little spatula I made. It was the leftover piece from the spoon that I carved, so I figured I'd try to be resourceful. Alright, we are going to put cured bacon ends. I was going to use bacon, I've seen these. I figured they're cheaper, it's still bacon, we're going to try them. Uh, if you live in the southern Illinois area, Beerman's very good meat. So we'll go ahead and get these opened. That is a chunk of bacon, folks. Cut that in half. It's cooking a little hot, so I am going to put the lid on for a second and move this a little farther away from the coals. Got to have something to wash down the noodle. We're going to let this go a little bit longer than we're going to put in the veggies. All right, so. First veggie in. Hey, look at that. That's perfect. I'd like to say I did that on purpose, but I didn't. First veggie in. Good old asparagus. Big boys, too. Go ahead and just get a little bit past the tip there. Right there. And the far, if you don't know, the farther down in asparagus you get, the less taste and the more fibrous it gets. So that's what we're doing. And good old superfood, red bell pepper. We're going to go big chunks. Make it easier to eat. Well, the noodles are taking a lot longer than I expected. I thought the water would get to boil faster, but no. So while I continue to blow on the coals, wait. Cheers. Oh, good old yinglings. Brewing good times for 190 years. Now we're going to put the noodles in and just hopefully should have brought tongs. Noodle down. Noodles will be lost. 
I will still have some to show. Okay, first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, thanks to our friends at Pizza Hut. In case you guys didn't know they have this, they do, and it's free. If it's free, it's me. Load it up with the parm. A little bit of basil. I tried getting fresh basil, but grocery store let me down. And then, of course, it can't be a meal for Sean unless we've got something spicy. Four blend jalapeno ghost arbol and habanero crushed red peppers. Oh yeah. for the moment of truth. Let's see if this was a waste of time or if this actually turned out decent. Not bad. Not bad. Noodles could have used a couple more minutes, but I guess we'll, we'll call them extra al dente. That's a big piece of bacon. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. Sun's going down, I gotta eat, I made way too much. I gotta eat this, finish my, finish my brew here, get packed up, but I'm gonna go way out on a limb, way, way out on a limb. I highly doubt he'll do it. But I am going to challenge Matthew, a.k.a. Alex Poza, to show us his noodle. I'm a huge, huge Matthew Poza fan, and I know he likes to cook outside. So I'd love to see, well, Dan, not only cook outside, this, if you haven't seen Matthew Poza, check him out. This dude kills, kills cooking in the woods. Like, it's, it's unreal what he pulls off. And I'd like to see what his noodle is. So, Matthew, Alex, you've been challenged. Hopefully you'll accept. If not, keep doing your thing, man. YouTube land, you keep doing your thing. Glorious, glorious woods, you always do your, your thing, so I'm not even going to tell you to keep it up. Bye, guys.